In this video, I'm going to talk about the payment processors that are available to those in Trinidad and Tobago and by extension, the wider Caribbean. I'm going to be talking about three payment processors in this video. However, I anticipate this to be part one of hopefully a long series as more of these payment processing solutions pop up for business owners and startups like you and me. And if some of you aren't sure what a payment processor is, it is simply a software that integrates into your website and allows your website to take payments so a customer would be able to enter their card information and then the software will be able to debit their a bank account and credit your business bank account and therefore process the sale right without any type of manual input on your part it will just be automatically processed just like if you're making a purchase on amazon your website will function basically in a similar fashion so i'm actually really excited to make this video because this is information that i would have wanted um, kind of served up on a platter to me while I was doing my research about two or three years ago and like I said more and more of these are popping up as we are becoming a bit more advanced and leaning towards doing business online a little bit more than we would have before 2020 right so the very first payment processor or payment gateway that I found was first atlantic commerce and this one is actually one of the older ones i think it was since 1998 um, according to their website you could fact check that and um, how i was able to find this when i was doing my research was actually looking at the very big companies and organizations for example the government because in 2020 the government started taking online payments for business registration which is what i was doing registering my business at that time and i was wondering how they were doing this which means there must be a solution for business owners to accept payments online like I, like I thought we were you know way way behind the times and I saw that on the government website that it was powered by First Atlantic Commerce and then when I googled First Atlantic Commerce I came across their website and I got more information and more about them and then I also googled the local banks in Trinidad and Tobago to see if this payment processor was partnered with the banks here as well just to make sure that if that was the payment processor i was using that it would be compatible with the local banks here and that i wouldn't be caught in a slightly difficult situation in terms of like for example paypal where they definitely want you to have like a u.s bank account if you want funds going directly um, into your bank account right so i was cross-referencing and checking all those things however when it comes to first atlantic commerce there isn't a lot of information most of the information i think is locked behind the application process and also it states very clearly on their website that they do not work with small or new businesses new startup businesses they work with medium size and large corporations so you have to be like a really really big and um, generating a lot of revenue for the past couple of years and they also have so they have the merchant application that would be large businesses and they have bank applications so as far as i know the last time i checked most of the most 
of the local banks if not all in trinidad and tobago have partnered with first atlantic commerce which means by extension all the banks that are in trinidad that are also in the other caribbean islands would have partnered with first atlantic commerce and i believe they have they are the first they are the oldest so i think most of the banks are integrated with them the only problem is even though they might be like the powerhouse and probably the most what's the word maybe the most trusted maybe because they were first and around for a long time they do not work with like i said before small business owners and entrepreneurs and people now starting off their business so even though they were the first one that i found um I realized that I could not use them so I had to look for other payment processors and this is where it got even more difficult. So the next payment processor that I found was CXP and I want to categorize them also in the category with First Atlantic Commerce. They seem to be um, when I researched them two years ago their website has been updated and changed now it looks up way different they seem to be also a company that kind of works with larger companies and maybe a bit more expensive but unlike first atlantic commerce they actually have their features outlined on their website um they also don't share their pricing first atlantic commerce didn't share their pricing cxp doesn't share their pricing either so you're not even sure what you're getting into until you do the application so let's look at some of the features for cxp so they have a customer vault quickbooks sync pay swipe three-step redirect api virtual terminal electronic invoicing certify pci 3D Secure, Merchant Defender, iSpy Fraud, Batch Processing, Gateway Emulator, Advanced Transaction Routing Interface, Recurring Billing, Quick Click, iProcess, Third Party Shopping Cart Support, Mobile API. If we look at their payment options, we can see that they support a lot of different types of payment methods like Visa, Maestro, PaySafe Card, Apple Pay, MasterCard, Bitcoin, Poli or Poli, Samsung Pay, American Express, ID, Kiwi Wallet, Discover, Giro Pay. EPS right so they have a good bit of different options and also the different types of integrations that CXP have in terms of the websites so they integrate with Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, Magento, CAG software, rental software, brick solutions, Checkfront, Vic Weep WP, Equid, Lubac, Beds24, ResD, Viking Bookings, 3D Cart, Big Commerce, Lightspeed, Chargeify, Commerce Sync, WHMCS, Datatel, Foxy.io, Jotform, Miva Merchant, Recurly, PrestaShop, ShopSite, Zero, Us Commerce Online Merchant, Zoho. Right, so that's a lot of different integrations that cxp can be integrated into and last but not least the caribbean islands that they support um they have a lot so they are available like 
outside of the Caribbean, but they are also available in the Caribbean and in the Dutch Caribbean because this is, I believe, based in Curacao, so it's originating in the Dutch Caribbean. So even though this payment processor is available in a lot of the Caribbean islands, it is not compatible with all of the banks here. The only two banks that CXP is compatible with is actually CIBC and Scotiabank. CIBC recently, well not too long ago, came to Trinidad and Tobago. They are still here as the recording of this video. And of course, Scotiabank is here. Um, two years ago, I was contemplating to either sign up for a business account with either of those two banks because I was looking at using CXP as my payment processor for my online business. However, neither of those worked out and I ended up opening my business bank account with Republic Bank and I have a video about that. I will link it above. And so one of the one of the other reasons I was looking at CIBC in particular is because they actually have a debit card for business bank accounts that is also a visa card and so i was really looking into that being able to use a visa debit business card for like online purchases and even i was even contemplating if i would have been able to connect it to paypal and all of that but you know all of those things kind of didn't come to fruition because i didn't get through opening a bank account there because of you know during 2020 a lot of banks were not like seeing people in person and they won't open a new bank accounts and x y and z is the case so that didn't pan out and uh, since i don't have any of those business bank accounts there's no way that i could apply for cxp because other otherwise it won't work right it won't connect and the third payment processor that I want to talk about in this video is called BuzzPay. And BuzzPay is now reaching into the realm of payment processors that are actually more suitable for entrepreneurs, self-employed people, small business owners, and, you know which are mostly the type of people watching these videos so better suited for you and all of these have application processes but this particular payment processor they have all of their features listed and they have a pricing system so unlike with first atlantic commerce and with cxp when you don't know what the price might be until you apply and you sign up and then they start invoicing you with this one you know what plan you're on so the features of buzzpay right they have payment links and that's just basically like it says a link that you could send to somebody they click on it and they'd be taken to a like a web page that will process the payment and then redirect them to another page right um they have subscriptions so if it is you want to have some sort of membership program you can use this type of a billing or payment processing feature they have invoices they have online payments appointments and donations so those are their features that they have mainly and the pricing right is in tiers so they they have a free plan and then they have like a plan at 29 us dollars so all of their prices are quoted in us and then 79 us and then about 2.99 us i believe right and then the mega plan is something that you would have to negotiate with them but like i said here you could actually look and see which features you would want and based on what you need for your business and the plan that would be more suitable for you 
if it would be the 29 us a month or the 79 us a month and you can also just try it out free for 14 days so they have a free two-week trial to see if it is something that you would want to use or like using or if they have you know everything that you are looking for even in the free plan right you can have uh, up to 20 i believe it's 25 contacts and you can accept online payments payment links estimates invoices subscriptions email support right so and as you can see the features will increase the more money that you pay obviously so it's really dependent on what you need for your business and how much you can afford as a new business owner to start generating revenue for your business online right if you want me to go in depth with any of these payment processors let me know in the comments below however just a quick note i won't be able to give like a personal experience with first atlantic commerce or cxp because one of them i i won't get through to if i apply and the other one it doesn't really make sense to apply because i don't have a business bank account with the banks that they are connected to so the only one from this video i'd actually be able to go in depth with by doing the free trial and going in and you know setting up links and seeing how it works and the back end and stuff would be buzzpay so if it is you want a more detailed in-depth video about buzzpay let me know in the comments below and if there are any other payment processors that i come across that you can use in trinidad and tobago and the wider caribbean i will definitely be talking about them in this video coming up next and i'll see you over there